Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Forza Horizon 4. First of all, I need to say I don't have any uh, miracle solution <laughs> in this game. It's a Windows Store game, so it's a UWP game. Uh, I don't have a config file and some random graphic parameter that you can change in some config file. So it's pretty much the in-game setting. Uh, so this video is more for like noobs or people who are not uh, uh, used to change uh, graphic parameters on the PC. And the goal here is to have like a constant FPS but still have decent graphic setting. So first of all, dynamic optimization, put this one at off. You can try it at, at on if you want. Uh, this one will optimize your game depending where you are to get your constant 60 FPS. The two problems with this, sometimes I got like some slaughter, uh, some drop of FPS. And uh, sometimes the, the games just go blurry because it's, it's trying to uh, give me my 60 FPS and I feel the game a bit weird with the dynamic optimization, so I'm removing it. So I'm playing full HD right now in this game, all the parameter that I will show you is for full HD, but for sure, if after all my optimization you're still not getting your 60 FPS, you should definitely lower your resolution. After that, frame rate, make sure that you unlock this one, very important, and also vertical sync, you want to put this one at Make sure that you're playing full screen because I saw a difference between full screen and or not. Uh, I was losing like 3 FPS, 3 to 4 FPS, so really important to play full screen. After that, uh, you can show your FPS if you want top left of the screen, if you're not using a software like MSI Afterburner and stuff like that. And remove motion blur if you don't like the effect because I really don't like motion blur in any game. Let's start with the graphics setting. So make sure that you're putting the game at custom because you want to edit the thing. So let's start here. Uh, night shadows and shadow quality, make sure that you remove this. This is crazy. You will gain 15 to 18% of your FPS um, increase. It's, it's pretty crazy for me. I, it gave me 15 FPS. So this one is really important. This is the first thing that you need to remove. So if you're like at 50 FPS when you play the game, just remove your night shadows and shadow quality and you should be fine to get your 60 so you don't have to touch anything else. After that, motion blur you can put it at low but we remove it in the basic so it doesn't change anything. Just make sure that you're putting at low in case you decide to uh, put it back um, on. Texture quality for an environment. This one is not very important. Uh, it depends on the, the VRAM on your video card. So if you have 3 gig and more, you can put high or ultra. If you have 2 gig, put it at medium. And if you have less than 2 gig, put it at low. Static ge geometry quality and dynamic geometry quality. I didn't see a huge impact here. For sure, you will gain FPS, 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. But it's not something huge like shadow quality. So if you're near your uh, 60 FPS, you can definitely... Uh, put some juice here For anti-aliasing if you have an integrate video card or a low-end video card for sure remove MSAA use FXA This is the how can I say that the basic uh, Anti-aliasing if you still uh, have issue after my video for your 60 for sure remove all anti-aliasing But anti-aliasing is kind of important when you play a game. I don't like to play a game with no anti-aliasing uh, all the objects are kind of like breaking and stuff like that, so make sure that you're putting FXAA on. For ambient inclusion, this one is a bit weird on my video card. Uh, not a big difference between different brackets, like maybe 1 FPS, but uh, on my AMD car, I got a, a, a better impact, like 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket, so definitely test this one because it can be different dif depending on your PC. The second biggest thing that will influence your FPS is all the reflection. So reflection quality, make sure that you're putting this one at low, very important, 3 to 4, even 5 FPS for each bracket, windshield reflection, remove this, mirror quality, same thing, put this one at low, those ones are taking a lot of resources randomly, so just like lower this. The other one here, SS quality, they're saying adjust the quality of the reflection within the road and water, put this one at off and you will uh, stabilize your FPS. For the wall, uh, world car level of detail and the formal terrain quality here, uh, I'm putting this one at medium. It will impact your game, but you know, you, you want to, to have some nice effect. So if you're uh, using my setting right now, you should be fine with medium setting here. Lens effect, make sure that you remove this one too. Um, 
kind of weird this one I'm dropping a lot and I'm pretty sure it's because of this one I did a couple of tests and when I remove it my uh, FPS is getting a lot stable it's stable 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 -er. <laughs> sorry for my English um, yeah so remove this one uh, you will see that you you get a constant FPS without it shader quality uh, medium you can have a nice improvement over there like 2 to 3 FPS but I'm just playing at medium because when I, I, I finish with all of this this thing I already got my 144 easy so uh, put this one at medium and the last one particle effect quality put this one at low this one will give you a lot of drop F FPS if you're playing at high and if you have a low end or mid range um, PC so really important to put this one at low. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, RAM, I will try to help you the best that I can. Don't forget, you need to do a lot of testing here to make sure that uh, you're getting like your 60 or your 144 FPS and uh, it's constant because you don't want to lower too much your game, so it's just, you need to find the perfect spot. So that's about it guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and peace everyone.